generation is so powerful is that on the day of judgment we're going to hear a voice and this voice will say to us lower your gaze Fatima is going to judge Prophet says, Fatima, she is from me. She represents motherhood. She represents the intelligence in the female. You see her as a noble woman. You see her as a woman who is full of wisdom. A woman who is pure, a role model. The personality of any of the Ma'sumin, especially the Lady Fatima to Zahra Salamullah Alaiha, is not something that someone like myself or any of us can even do. The Prophet of Islam said that a son is a blessing, is a na'mah, but a daughter is a mercy, is a rahmah. The ayat of Quran is Wama Arsal Naka illa rahmatan lil alameen see fatima in this light a daughter is rahma for the father the prophet is rahmatun lil alameen fatima is rahma for rahmatun lil alameen in the battle of khandak when imam ali salam was going to fight against amr bin abdiwad the prophet said barazal imanu kullu ala al kufri kulli the other hadith of the prophet is that a man's iman is incomplete until he gets married. When he gets married, then his faith is complete. See Fatima in this light. Ali is complete iman. But a man's iman is completed when he gets married. Fatima completes the iman of kul iman. The other hadith of the Prophet ﷺ is that the feet of a mother are jannat for her children. The other hadith of the Prophet ﷺ is Al Hasan wal Hussein Sayyidai Shababi Ahl al Jannah. See Fatima in this light. Hassan and Hussein are Sayyidai Shababi Ahl al Jannah, but Fatima's feet are Jannah for Hassan and Hussein. How then do you describe a lady who is Rahma for Rahmatulil Alameen, who completes the Iman of Kul Iman, whose feet is Jannah for Sayyidai Shababi Ahl al Jannah? One of the titles that the Holy Prophet has given this lady is the title Ummu Abiha. The maturity that she shows, the support she gives as an eight or nine year old brothers and sisters to her father is the cause of the Holy Prophet calling her Ummu Abiha. This is how he used to address her like his mother. He used to look at his daughter and address her like his mother. This is how great Fatima the Zahra alayha, was. Knowledge about this lady is infinite. Recently, one of our fuqaha has written a book about the fiqh, the jurisdictions, the laws of Islam that we can derive from Fatima to Zahra alayha salam. There's a narration historic report that says the women in Medina used to come to the lady Fatima to Zahra Salamullah Alayha and they used to have discussions and questions. بسبب قربها من النبي الأكرم صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وقربها من علي بن أبي طالب يعني قربها من مصدر التشريع في حين إذن أكيد أنها كانت مصدر من مصادر التعليم لبقية المسلمات خصوصا الأمور الخاصة بالنساء التي لم يكن النساء يتصل بالنبي الأكرم صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم كان من خلال الزهراء سلام الله عليه وسلم. 
This knowledge that the Lady Fatima to Zahra had was knowledge of the deen, of the religion. Understanding Allah, understanding the Creator, understanding the relationship we have with the Creator, understanding ourselves, understanding death, understanding the hereafter, what my practical obligations are, and so on and so forth. The personality that the Lady Fatima to Zahra had, the capacity she had, the existential capacity that the Lady Fatima to Zahra sallallahu had, was such that she was able to receive knowledge in that way. Now, when we talk about Fatima to Zahra, we typically think, yes, she's a role model for our women. <laughs> كل الأخريات يتعلمنا منها يتثقفنا ويتعلمنا من الزهراء سلام الله عليها. She is also a role model for other men.